Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I don't fall. Uh, namaste, Shalom. Uh, it's my honor to be here. And uh, thank you to the JCC team and uh, thank you for your leadership in uh, bringing this group together. And we are part of a global movement and it's a tremendous honor for me to be here standing as part of this global movement. And, uh, you know, when I, a few years back, actually, I was uh, right here at the JCC. We did a pretty amazing event. It was called Ladus and Latkev. I don't know if any of you were here. Yes, I see some nodding heads. Ladus is, is, a, is a delicacy from, uh, from India. And so it was a merger of uh, our synergies that came together to celebrate Hanukkah and Diwali and, and all these uh, celebration of, uh, of the darkness to light uh, type of uh, festivals that we have. And uh, we did something on that day that I would like to do a, a repeat today. And it's a very simple uh, chanting of Om. Om is for global peace. When we are wanting to say, let's run for lives, bring them home, you know, we would like to create peace uh, in that region. Uh, I really don't know why. I really don't know why we had a ceasefire on October 6th. I don't know why it was disrupted. Why was it disrupted? And so the calls for ceasefire today are absolutely bogus because we had that ceasefire on that day, October 6th. October 6th. And, uh, you know, as an Indian American, as a Hindu, you know, we have seen us uh, under the gun of terrorism. And that is not good for anyone. That is not good for anyone when we are trying to create an economy, we are trying to create education, we are trying to create empowerment. That's the future that we are creating for our people, for our folks. And uh, when terrorism wrecks havoc upon us, we don't have a choice but to exert our muscle and fight back. And that's really what Israel is doing. And I'm with Israel on that, totally. I'm with Israel on that. So let's do a simple Om chanting. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, breathe in, take a deep breath uh, in, and then just follow me, repeat after me with Om. Okay? All right, let's do that. So when I see some of the some of the conversations on social media, you know, talking about ceasefire, you know, I I, I don't quite agree with that. You know, the the brutality of Hamas was just like it, it has shaken me to the core. Uh, it has been an emotional few weeks because I've met a lot of family members. I hear of stories of uh, Ian Wallman in Palo Alto who, who was killed in the concert. And uh, the dad, the dad is, uh, is just in complete tears. And uh, I can see on social media how he's trying to deal with that situation. And uh, that's the story that I heard in Los Altos Hills as well. Uh, it, it was a good community gathering, we heard so many families and uh, the stories of victims and how it has basically shaken up families to the core in terms of their experience and now we are still trying to figure out how we can bring them home. There is death and destruction that has happened because of Hamas and uh, I believe, you know, there is a lot of uh, talk about, you know, the, the fake news, you know, people say, did it really happen, did it really happen? There was an investigation done by the UN. And they have, they have looked at lots of different images, satellite imagery, and lots of different data from the ground, and they have basically verified that these things are happening. These things are real. Because the violence that was inflicted, I've had debates with people where they say, did it really happen, Rishi? Did it really happen? There is, there is FUD, they call it, you know, there is FUD being thrown out. They're trying to confuse the situation. And then I see the world of TikTok, where there is so much confusion created, and it's the herd falling everyone down a cliff. That's not what we want right now. You know, we need the convergence of the world, the spirit for all of us to get together and work for a common cause. Because these hostages did not do anything wrong. They were captured and uh, it's a human rights violation to have them captured like that. It's a human rights violation to have civilians gunned down by walking into their homes. Grandmoms gunned down. This is a travesty playing out. And we believe that it should never ever happen again and Hamas needs to be crushed. The world is with Israel. 
The world is with Israel. We can see this movement across so many different countries. And what I pledge is that I will always and forever be a friend of Israel. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is exactly what we need. This amazing support. Thank you for your warm words. Thank you.